That's so exciting, man. I've been an Arsenal fan since fifth grade, since Ozu came to Arsenal from Madrid. And the fact that they're coming to where I'm from, it's actually kind of crazy. Just finally be able to like see him in person is a dream come true. Gabriel Jesus has joined. He's had a great start as well. Scored last a uh, few days ago in Baltimore. What kind of impact do you think he can have on the team? He's going to give us the uh, the finishing that we've been missing since Obama Yang left. So I, I loved him when he was at City. The we on the phone celebration gets to do it with Enketia. Uh, you know, obviously hope they're, they're going to link up all season long. Uh, Jesus on the wing, Enketia at strikers. It's, it's going to be the best partnership in the Premier League. Really? You yeah. think Enketia and Jesus the best oh, yeah. partnership? Yeah, it's well, you know, it's going to be Martinelli, Jesus, Saka, and then Enketia rolls in and out. It's Jesus. He's going to score 20 goals this season. He's going to score a ton of goals. I mean, maybe even up for Golden Boot this season. I don't know, but I'm so excited to see him play. If he, if he plays today, I think he scores a few. He scored a hat trick on his debut. Took him what 90 seconds to score. That's class signing, class striker. Hopefully he can be consistent for us. Oh, I'm so excited. He's going to be a great goal scoring threat for us. I think 20 goals and assists on the season combined. I think, you know, Gabriel Jesus, he fits better as a solo striker. Uh, you know, Martinelli and Tierney overlapping, bringing in goals. But I think as a team, they'd be a great partnership. Supposedly arriving in the next couple of days, even hours, uh, Alexander Sinchenko, another player from Manchester City. What kind of impact do you think he can have on this team? bigger impact than Jesus perhaps? Oh, definitely not bigger than Jesus. Hopefully he'll add some depth to the squad. Love Kieran Tierney, so definitely want to see Kieran Tierney lock up that left back spot, but hopefully Zinchenko will give us some, some depth and uh, fill in a couple different positions if we need him to. More utility player. Well, I don't think he starts over Tierney. I mean, I got him on the back of the jersey. I, I think Tierney's you know, going to be one of the best left backs in the Premier League, but his health is obviously an issue, so Zinchenko coming in and rotating in for him consistently. I don't think that'll be a problem. I think they'll split the games. I think I see him as another midfielder. You know, when he plays for the Ukraine, he plays in that midfield role, and he's just very silky smooth with the ball. He controls the midfield, and he just looks great out there. So I definitely see him as a midfielder. I think I think it's a really good signing because I don't know I don't know if he'll start over Tierney at left back to start the season, um, but I think he could definitely take a spot or maybe even rotate through that midfield. Um, you know, if we need him there, I think it's a great signing from Mikel. It's a cop-out answer, but I'm guessing it's going to be both. I think uh, it'll probably be easier teams with Zinchenko at the back and, uh, you know, City, Liverpool, probably see Tierney for the defensive solidity. I would say that 75% uh, of the time he'll be playing mid and then the rest will probably be playing left back, giving Tierney a break or giving us some... Uh, I would say he's probably better on the ball than Tierney and his vision is passing, so maybe to help us break down some of the smaller teams. Hopefully having two options means there will be less injuries too. And they kind of, they're like, oh, look, this new left back, Zinchenko, he's young, blah. But he ended up coming to a real team, a team that kind of needs him because he was kind of being wasted at the bench. But um, Kieran Tierney, you know, he's injury prone, so if he gets injured, I wouldn't be kind of, like I wouldn't be worried. I know Zinchenko would come in and step up. Yeah, I think I think his consistency, you know, Granit Xhaka can be a little inconsistent. Um, I think his consistency and his like press resistance, his ball skills, like he can if, if he can bring the press onto him and then pass out of it really well. I think better than Xhaka can. So Love Tierney. What about Xhaka? Do you think he can display Xhaka in midfield? Because he was a midfielder before he joined Manchester City. I want to like Shaka, but he makes some some bad decisions in game. So um, he played solid at the end of the season, uh, calmed down and kind of let the game come to him instead of getting caught out of position and uh, overreacting. But hopefully, uh, I mean, anywhere he can fit in where it adds to the team and adds depth, uh, gives us a better chance to win, I'm all for it. Really excited, and it's a good signing because not only does he play left back, he plays center man, and he plays multiple positions. So he'll definitely, it's definitely a good signing. And he's played under Pep like Jesus, so I'm excited. Thanks so much, Mike. Enjoy the game. Well, Jack has been in great form. I think he deserves to be the starter at the beginning of the season. But if he starts to slip like he usually does in the middle of the season, he starts to get pick up red cards. There's no reason that Zinchenko can't take over for him. I'm curious how Arteta plans to work with the three of them. Is he going to rotate them? Are we going to see Saliba more in the cup games? Or will we play a back three sometimes? It looks like he's toying with that in the preseason, so we might see a little bit of that. Probably not with Rob Holding in the middle, though. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how he uh, creates chemistry with Ben White and Gabrielle, and if uh, we're going to see rotation between them between them during the season. And uh, yeah, like you said, if we're going to play a back three sometimes, maybe if we're having to lock up on defense, yeah, we'll have to see. I'm excited by him so far, though. I think he'll play well today. Um, it'd, be, it'd be cool to see him in person. I think he played well against Everton, and obviously he won uh, Young Player of the Year in, in France, so I think he's got a good future for us. I think he could. I think he definitely could. He's been very really good in, that, in the preseason games, and in the League One, he looked great last year. So I think him and I think Gabrielle could definitely knock down those two center back spots. Big deal. Ram Ramsdale hasn't gotten any injuries. He's He'll be all right. It'll be fine. Even with Turner, I think it'd be acceptable, but uh, you still got Runnerson as a backup, and then I can't remember the other goalkeeper's name, but then uh, yeah, big tall dude. <laughs> but uh, no, I don't think it'll be a big deal at all. Do you think he can has a chance to displace Aaron Ramsdale's number one, or do you think Aaron's got that place locked out? I honestly think Aaron's got it number one. I think Matt can push him though. I think he uh, he's a little older. He adds a little experience to the locker room though. Um, I think he'll push Aaron Ramsdale, but I think. Aaron will keep the number one spot. Aaron Ramsdale. I love his energy on the pitch. I love the way he gets so into things, and he, his energy is just contracted. Everyone just goes with it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.